Hey everyone, thanks for joining us again today. I've got a new mod to do today. I'm going to be putting these blink cameras up on the RV. Uh, this is what they look like. I do have four of them. I do have the batteries uh, in some of these already. Um, and so we're going to we're going to put these up today. This one here is one that actually stays inside of the RV, but the rest of these are going to get outside. So let's get out there and do it. If you remember, um, I talked to you about putting up cameras in the corner of, of this unit right here. And then one right over here. I actually have one there right now, but I don't like these mounts that come with uh, these cameras, these blink cameras. Uh, they're pretty basic, really. Um, here's one here. You can't really get much range of motion with this. And so um, it's, it's quite basic, really. Um, that's about as far as like if you got that against the wall like this, that's, that's about your range of motion right there. And I really wanted to be able to go fully to be able to see the full side of the RV. So I went online and I found these. And um, they, they look, I mean, really they don't feel great, but they look like they're gonna do a good job. Let me actually loosen this one up. Um, so it will bend down like that fully 90 degrees. Uh, so I really like that. Here's one that I've actually put on here already. You just have to push this, push this part right here onto the hole right there. And to be honest, when you push it on, you really have to push it on good uh, and work it in there, turn it around, make sure it fits good. Because when I first put it on here, it, it seemed a bit like it wasn't grabbing real well. Uh, and then I pushed it on a little better and it really grabbed good. So that's on. Um, and so I'm going to, I'm going to actually turn this to be able to show you the, the range of motion you can actually get out of this actually a little better than and I, I would need, but this actually would be perfect right there. See, so I could put this, not like I'm gonna put it right here, but I mean, I'm gonna put it on the side of the RV and I can get a full uh, range view straight down the RV. So that's what I'm gonna be putting on today. Um, I got four of them to put on. I'm putting one on here where I got the ladder and uh, one down here where this one already is. I'm taking that, that mount off and putting it up there and then, I'll come around here to the other side, utility side of the RV, show you. I'm going to put one right here on that bracket and the one all the way in right there on the end of that bracket so we can get a good look um, at the entire RV. Now, when I first talked about doing this, I was a bit worried. I didn't want to drill into the side of the RV at all uh, in any way, shape, or form. And I considered actually just using like one of these screws here like that already in the RV, uh, but higher, and just use one of those. But when I saw these brackets here that are holding on the roller shade, um, the, the, the slide top covers, I thought that's perfect. And I might have to drill a hole or two, but if as long as it's in that, not in the side of the RV, I would be fine with that. So I did do that up front, but once I did it, I wasn't thrilled with the range of motion. So I actually had one up here, I took it down, um, and, I, and I did put that one up as you see, but that's gonna come down too. So I'm gonna get these put on, um, should be pretty simple, and then I'll show you what it looks like. All right, I got my first camera up with the new mounts. This is what it looks like. I uh, just put in two, I didn't put in three, I didn't see a need for that. Um, it's a little scary actually drilling through there, but I did get a good, a good angle, as you can see here. And so that should work really good. I'll show you the video here in just a few minutes once it gets the elements up. All right, we got all four of them up now. I got them at the right angle. Um, I'm very happy with the way they look. I love that they're black. They're kind of hidden there. Um, on, on the RV, there's one, camera one. There's camera two looking right at us, right there. I'll take it around back to see number three and four. And we also have this here on the back of the solitude to be able to access. There's number three, right there. And then number four, it's right there you can see, looking at it. So very happy with it. Um, we had this drilled, I drilled a couple of uh, holes 
in those in those little um, pieces that I showed you, and um, worked out real good. Now, uh, to be honest, the screws are a little longer than I would have would would prefer them to be. So those brackets, the but the back part of the bracket that's actually onto the um, that that screwed on is is a little bit loose. They jiggle a little bit, but I didn't want to take a chance of going into the side of the uh, the RV at all. So it doesn't matter to me um, if they jiggle a little bit. I don't bother. That doesn't bother me a bit. They definitely will do the job for us. And when we travel, what I'll do is I'll just put my ladder up here and grab that down. They just, they just come, they come down real easy. The brackets will stay up there. Uh, they'll travel just like that. I'll just take the cameras down. And then when we get to a new location, if I feel like I want to put them up, I will. Um, I'll just go up there and pop them up and then they'll, that'll be it. Now I can either pop them off the little, uh, little part where, where they go, where they go onto the back of the camera. I can pop it off or I can actually unscrew it. Um, I'll show you. I, I actually have one more left. Um, it came with five of them. I only needed four. So I, I kind of like having the extra one. But if you just unscrew this, this portion right here, if you unscrew that, um, it'll come off easy like that too. And then we don't have to unhook the camera. So just unscrew it. It's, it goes pretty far too. And I can just put the cameras down here in storage. And then when I get to a new place, I can just tighten them up like this. So I'm gonna keep this one though, obviously. Um, th there might be another, I might get another camera. I might find a good place to put it. Um, and um, not sure what size of a uh, drill. Oh, I used a, uh, a 1 8 one eighth inch drill bit to to do the, the holes and it was just the right size so hope that helps and um appreciate you watching the video and uh and watching this mod i was very happy with it i, I looked on the on the app uh for the blink cameras and uh and and i've got them aligned just right so very happy with that wherever i'm located i can just open up the app be able to see the different uh, cameras different angles and uh just have some peace of mind to know that uh, that everything's safe around here and uh, your vehicles here in the driveway you know it could pick those up uh, obviously back here I got my grill and just different things and my dog our, our dog uh, went crazy here and, and <laughs> knocked this down Jasper's a good boy um, he's only about 10 months old he's a rescue dog and we uh, we've had him with us he's been traveling with us more than he's actually been at a home so um, very, very nice location here in Florida. Very nice uh, water here, but um, just wanted to show you that real quick. So thanks a lot. Appreciate you watching and hope you have a great day. Please subscribe to our videos and uh, we'll appreciate that as well. God bless. Bye-bye.